right, let's talk about the family car ride. Typically when you put six people in a confined space, things start to get interesting. Uh, one person won't want to be next to the other person, et cetera, et cetera. We all have those memories, you know what they're like. So one of the solutions car manufacturers have come up with is they'll put a DVD player in the car and that's great, but then you end up fighting about what movie to watch or I don't get to watch my podcasts or excuse me, listen to my podcast while I'm driving because I have to listen to whatever kids movie the kids want to watch. So we've had a couple of generations of cell phones now and the old ones all have internet that work. And so what we've done is we've developed a solution that lets everybody watch their show on their screen. And the way to do that is to use Linux, it's particularly Ubuntu Mate, and get things going in the car so that way everybody is happy. And here's how we've done this. So up front here, you can see I've got a lot of outlets there. Um, and the reason for that is because there's a lot of things to power up. The second one from the bottom is to a 150 watt power inverter. That one and the red cord both run back through the car, back here, and you'll see a nice old, uh, let's see, MacBook Air. Now this MacBook Air looks really good. We always talk about how the hardware is really great, unless your youngest son decides that he wants to go ahead and put his head up against the screen. When he does that, you end up with a screen that looks like this. Hardware inside is really great. This computer is definitely, definitely functioning. Lots of battery power, everything else like that. It's got a Core i7 processor with four gigs of RAM, but I can't use the screen anymore. And if I were running Max OS, I wouldn't be able to do much with this because it's designed to only be used as a GUI. So I need an operating system that I can run either as a GUI when I plug this into a monitor or as a uh, headless machine that I can uh, SSH into. And uh, we're gonna show you that here in just a second. All right, so uh, we've plugged a couple more things in here now. You can see we've got a 500 or a terabyte, I can't remember, Western Digital hard drive. It's powered off the USB on the side here. This is a little portable uh, travel router. Works great, we also charge that off the USB on this side. Now, for uh, traveling purposes, I store all that in this little handy dandy case, and all of this goes underneath this seat. So, um, now, we've set up OpenSSH on this machine, but while I'm driving, there's no way I'm gonna open SSH. And I absolutely love my wife, but sometimes she's not as supportive with my hobbies as I'd like her to be. So anytime I try to get her to use the command line, it's not happening. So what I've done instead is I've managed to teach my daughter, you know, how to open SSH and this stuff. And so we're gonna run through those steps here and it'll probably take us a couple takes but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it. So what's the first step we have to do? First step, you have to get some apps on your phone, Juice, SSH, and Ping Tools. I have them on my phone, luckily. So now we're gonna ping to make sure it's up and running. 192.168.1.2. It's up, right? Yep. Successful, now you can SSH into it. So right now, we got this up, so we're gonna go to sudo 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 Sp uh -huh. space service Sir i'm more of a spelling just for your information s-e-r-v-i-c-e -E. how'd we do s-e-r-v-i-c-e -E. Uh, you got to be precise and then mb dash server and then start okay so Did it go? Yep. Asking for the password? Yeah, trying to. All right. Nice nails, by the way. Everybody's gonna know you have really nice fingernails. Ha, ha, ha. All right, let's see if this goes. Yep, it's on, we're in. Mine's up and running. All right, so now that I'm in the system, I'm gonna do HTOP, Liza, play the video. So this shows us, I mean, again, because it's a Linux server, right? Uh, in the car, I'm able to see what our system usage is right now. So I can HTOP in on here and you can see that the processor's pretty low because uh, the, most of the videos are encoded for H.264 and so they stream directly in. All right, so let's no, see, this one's working. Out. All right, so the iPad 2 is having a bit of trouble loading this. Um, let's see if this gets going here. All right, so we've got video on the iPad 2. Right, and I'm, we're able to see what's going on. Now you just want to watch your show, huh? All right. So